Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah. It's no mystery the importance of taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal in the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that also that taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will is a source of having our rizq increased. And with that being said, first we need to know a little bit about what is taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So some of the salaf referred to, uh, some of the salaf they referred to taqwa as being uh, ijtinab, uh, you know, the doing the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding his prohibitions. That this is taqwa Allah azza wa jal and putting a waqaya, putting a a barrier or a shield between you and the hellfire. And what do you how do you do that? By doing the 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 righteous deeds and avoiding the prohibitions of Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we kitab al Kareem Walo anna ahlul qura aminu wa taku la fatahna alayhim barakatim min min as sama min as sama iwal ard وَلَكِنْ كَذَّبُوا فَأَخَذْنَاهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَقْسِبُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, في كتاب الكريم, And if the people, you know, أَهْلَ قُرَى, أَهْلَ قُرَى, uh, the people of the village or the people of that township or the people of that place, if they only believed and feared and had taqwa, and that's fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then we would have opened for them or provided them with the barakat, the various forms of barakah and blessings uh, from the sama, from the, from the heavens or from the skies and the earth. However, they, uh, they denied, you know, they had kufr, kadhabu, they, they denied the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they disbelieved. And so then we uh, held them accountable for what they used to do, meaning that they're going to pay for this for their sinfulness and their wickedness and their disbelief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam Allama Tahir Tahir ibn Ashur, he says in his tafsir, he says, Wa barakat, so the term barakat that was referred to in the ayat, in the ayah, Jamma baraka. It is in a, it is the plural form of baraka. Baraka is singular. Wal maqsud min al jam ta'addidaha. So he, he's saying that that what what is meant here by barakat from the sama from the skies or the heavens is the the various ways in which uh, there are blessings from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Alama Khazan said, Al Khazan, Rahmatullah Alayhi Rahmatul Wasiya said, Wa barakat sama al matar. He said that the Bar the the barakat the blessings from the the sky is rain, wa barakat al ard nabat wa thamar, and that the the blessings from the earth is the plants and the fruits, and all that comes from uh, all the khairat you know all the various sources of the various resources that come from the earth, uh, and he says you know the animals and the rizq. You know, the provisions and the safety was salama and the security from uh, the various, uh, you know, various means that threaten human beings. And he said, all of that, min fadlillahi ta'ala wa ihsanuhu ala ibadihi. And all of that is from the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon his servants, uh, you know, and from the blessings of Allah azza and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا وَيَرْزَقْهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, And whoever fears Allah, then He will make a way out for them. And He will provide, give them provisions, give them rizq in ways that they couldn't imagine. Uh, Ibn Kathir, Imam Ibn Kathir rahimahullah ta'ala said about this, He says, وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ فِي مَا أَمَرَهُ بِهِ And then he said that this means that those who fear Allah by, uh, you know, in those things in which he commanded, you know, by adhering to those his commands. وَتَرْقْ مَنَاهَهُ 
anhu, and leaving off that which he has uh, prohibited. And he will provide for them from his commands a way out, a way out from their difficulties. And he will provide for him in ways that he uh, couldn't imagine. So Ibn Kathir then says, Min jihatin la takhtur bibalihi. You know, meaning that Allah is going to provide in ways that that person would have never thought he could have gotten, received provisions from Allah Azza wa Jal. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, Rahimahullah ta'ala, وَلِهَذَا قَالَ بَعْدَ السَّلَفِ And uh, for this reason, some of the Salaf used to say, مَا احْتَاجَ تَقِيُّنْ قَتْ He said that the, the person who, who fears Allah, they don't need, they never needed anything. They don't never need anything. And he says, يَقُولْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ ذَمَّنْ ذَمَّنَ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ أَنْ يَجْعَلْ لَهُمْ مَخْرَجَ مِمَّا يُضِيكْ عَلَيْهِ يُضِيكْ عَلَى النَّاسِ He says that the, because verily, they say that verily uh, Allah, or the, you know, the person who has uh, taqwa, says that verily Allah gives, uh, guarantees the people who fear Him that He will give them a way out from the difficulties that people uh, experience. And provide for them in ways in which they couldn't imagine. And he will protect them from those things which harm them and give them and make easy for them those things which they require, which they need. And if they do not receive that, so this is very important. So here's Shaykh al-Islam is saying, فَإِذَا لَمْ يَحْسُ ذَلِكَ Meaning the person who is fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if they don't receive that rizq, and they don't have that way out, دَلَّ عَلَّ أَنَّ فِي تَقْوَى خَلَلْ that's a big fight, a big something that we can benefit from, a big benefit. Shaykh Islam then he says that this shows, meaning if a person's not getting that, they're fearing Allah, then and they're not receiving that relief, and they're not receiving that increase in their wealth or being provided for, this is evidence that their taqwa has shortcomings, has khalal. So then he, he, he says, so seek forgiveness and make toba to him. Seek forgiveness and make toba. So if you don't see that you're receiving, uh, you know, you're trying to fear Allah and you believe you're fearing Allah, but you, you're not seeing the results, then you need to seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make toba to him for the things that you're doing. May Allah protect us and forgive us and guide us and increase us in khayr. I mean, listen to this last faida related to this ayah, related to this uh, to the point of taqwa. Imam bin Baz, rahimahullah ta'ala, said about the ayah, he says, وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجَ وَيَرْزَقْهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the ayah that we already mentioned. He says, وَمَعْلُومٌ he said, and it's well known that gaining knowledge is one of the best forms of rizq, the best forms of provisions. And he says, and it is leaving off the restrictions of ignorance and the oppression or the darkness of it to the, the, the great expanse of knowledge and the light of knowledge. And he says, وَقَالَ تَعَالَى And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِهِ يُسْرًا 
that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al and whoever fears Allah, he will make for him from his he will make his affairs easy for him. So then Imam bin Ba said, وحصول العلم النافع من أعظم تيسر وتسهيل. He said, and and gaining beneficial knowledge is from one of the greatest ways of making things easy and in getting that relief. Because he said, لأن طالب العلم الشرعي because the طالب العلم of the Sharia that they find in their knowledge. The various ways of khair, wa asbab and najat, and the ways of success, which is not easy and not attained for the ignorant one. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ilm and nafia, wa rizq and tayyibah, wa amal and and may Allah bless us with ikhlas, with abat, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.